Hezbollah launched a large-scale rocket attack on several Israeli settlements shortly after the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, conducted raids in southern Lebanon, encountering significant resistance. The Lebanese group targeted Israeli villages like Shtola and Mechela and sent numerous rockets into the northern city of Haifa. This escalation occurred as IDF troops crossed the UN-demarcated blue line between Israel and Lebanon, sparking fierce clashes with Hezbollah militants. The IDF's operations, which started the previous night, involved elite forces, including the 98th Division, backed by air and artillery support. These targeted raids aimed to neutralize Hezbollah strongholds near Israeli border communities. Some Israeli officials, such as National Security Minister Itamar ben Gvir, have advocated for a more extensive military operation to decisively defeat Hezbollah. The situation worsened after Hezbollah's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, was killed in an Israeli airstrike. Despite the loss, Hezbollah's acting leader, Naim Qasim, vowed to continue resisting any Israeli incursion into Lebanon. Amid the intensifying conflict, Israel warned Lebanese civilians to avoid southern regions as fighting between IDF forces and Hezbollah escalated. Israel's actions are part of Operation Northern Arrows, a campaign designed to secure border areas and combat Hezbollah's presence. The conflict has caused widespread destruction in Lebanon, leading to significant civilian displacement. Meanwhile, Lebanese leaders are seeking international assistance to manage the humanitarian crisis as tensions continue to rise.